Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Fee's Paper Craft. Today I'm going to do a couple of memories and more layouts. Um, this is actually a retired set. This is a deck, what was it called? It was called a Merry Little Christmas um, Memories and More Pack. And the reason I'm using it is it's actually in the clearance rack at the moment. Um, so if you're quick, you should be able to get this. Now, it looks like I've got an awful lot of stuff, and I do have an awful lot of stuff because I had two sets. I was given one, um, uh, and I, ha I had already bought one. Uh, so I've got two sets here. You get 72 cards. I really can't remember the breakdown. You get more than little cards when you do the big cards. So you get these ones, just six by four, and you get two of each design. Probably, am I? Sorry. Let's see where the camera is. Sorry about that. So you get two of the big ones, uh, you get two designs of each card and you get six by four cards and you get these little ones, um, three by four. Okay, so you get them in, it's a uh, real red, old olive, there's a little bit of lemon and lime, lemon lime twist and craft. So that's what you would get, you get those, those the large cards and let me put those away. Then you get some accents as well. So you get the small silver accents. This one says Christmas cheer, um, stripy silver. Then you get the large one. I don't know if you can see that. It's got snowflakes in there. Can you see that? Snowflakes on the edge. Yeah, I think you can see that. Oh, and there we go. Uh, on both edges. And then you also get stickers. Um, you get, I think you get one sheet of each. You must do, I've got two. So you get these green and red ones and then silver transparent ones with um, snowflakes, um, words and borders. And I'll be using those. So that's Memories and More Kits. Uh, like I said, I think it's about half price. I think it's about £4.50, £4.80 in the clearance rack at the moment. So if you go along there, you can get this pack. Um, like I said, you can two cards and together, all together with two pages of stickers. So I've already laid out, I've already done a lot of it. I've chosen, because I didn't think you'd want to sit there. Well, I went through my photos, printed them off, uh, went through the memories and more uh, card kit and worked out what my pages were going to be. Um, what I will say, when I'm printing the photos off, I print them off at home. I use Word, I import the pictures and I resize them in Word uh, to make sure I can get them the size that I want you to fit um, here. And obviously some of them you're going to be, um, will be smaller, smaller than the actual size because they um, the 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 because the, they're more square rather than landscape or or um, portrait, and I do a double sided layout, so I've got lots of pictures. Um, there are two pictures missing up there because my children were in school choirs and they had child pictures of other children, so I took them out. But these are family pictures. These are my nieces and my mummy there, my mummy. So this is from Christmas 2017. It's taken me a long time to get around to do it because it always does. So the first thing I'm going to do now that I've chosen my card stock, my card backing, and my pictures. So I've gone for red and predominantly red and black on this page, and predominantly green and craft on this page. So let's move that page out the way, out the way somewhere. I've got stuff everywhere. And what we'll do first of all, what's probably the best thing to do is to glue pictures down first of all so they don't move now it's got wording on there but I'm not too worried that I'm going to go over the wording I want it back in I mean what you could do instead if you didn't want to waste um, your six by four cars just to use them as um, you know backdrops for your pictures is you could um, use the DSP um, Stampin' Up! have always we always have Christmas designer series paper there's one pack at the moment in the annual catalogue and the um seasonal catalogue the christmas autumn catalogue will come out in september and they'll have a variety of different designer series papers which you could use as a background but like i said i had two packs of these cards so i don't mind using it up and i tend to want to use the big spaces for photos anyway uh, particularly for my Christmas designs. Um, so I don't often use the larger ones that much, I have to say. But you may, you may. I may People may say I put too many photos down. Maybe you should put one or two photos. Oh. Um, and the rest be the decorative elements. Uh, but 
I like photos. I like photos. So this is actually Christmas Day. Don't often get a whole picture of us all in. I managed to just do it there. There's five of us. My, me and my poor husband don't get a lot of um, uh, photo time. I'll be updating my um, uh, 2018 monthly. Actually, I've just been doing that as well. I got behind. I hadn't done May or June. Um, uh, I haven't done July either. But we won't talk about that. Um, so I have been updating that. And that will be going on to my blog fairly soon if it isn't already on. But sometimes you do get a little bit bogged down with it all. I hope I'm in the light. Let me just move the camera a bit. I don't know why the camera like it's moved. There we go. And you'll probably see it a bit easier. I'm sure you love seeing me gluing on my family pictures. And I know you want to know how to do a memories and more page. It's very hard to teach memories and more, I find. Um, because it is so simple. Uh, you get your photos, get them off, get them printed down. That's probably the most technically bit of, technical bit of it, is to, to work out for you what is the easiest way. I mean, obviously, there's loads of companies you can send your pictures off to, um, and you can specify the sizes, the sizes you want. Um, I always cut mine down so that so the pockets are 6x4 and 4x3. But I always... Oh, that one needed cutting down, didn't it? But I always tend to cut them... Oh, this is going to be interesting. To cut them down to just a bit under, let me, I'll do it, glue everywhere. So I'm trying to finish a sentence while I do it. So this one is a bit big, so this one is just over four, isn't it? So I tend to, let me do it this side, to cut it down to uh, three, to three and three quarters. So that gives you a way to be able to mat and layer it on. I'll clean that off later. Mine's a bit mucky. Oh, uh, that's what I didn't want to do. Oh, I've got glue in my picture. Well, the thing about this is that, you know, I could always print this off again. I'm being a bit lazy. Right. Oh, I'll have to print that one off again because I managed to get glue all over it. I'll see what I can do. Have I got my... Blue eraser, where's that gone? It's all a bit hot and sticky. So you can try a glue eraser, but I'll probably end up um, uh, printing that one off again. My husband looks so grumpy. We had snow mainly in um, February, March this year, but we had a little bit of snow when we went at Christmas shopping, so I had to take a photo of that. So that one's all glued down. Let me get the other one. So, I'm sorry, I was trying to explain that with um, uh, Memories and More, it's really quite straightforward. The most technical thing you're going to have is print your photos off. Like I said, I've got photo paper at home. I um, use Word uh, to put them, to insert them. And then um, from the picture tab, I then resize them. And it means I can get a couple on each page. It's cost effective, you know, and it works for us. However, if you don't want to go through that or um, you find that too time consuming or it's not something that you're comfortable doing, you could um, send them off to these companies. There are various companies around um, that will print the photos for you and deliver them to your door. So that's one way of doing it. Oh, it's that way. Remember to put your picture in the right way. Um, so once you've got your pictures, it's then up to you to decide how you want them to look, whether you want to use designer series paper behind, what stamps you want to use, because um, obviously you can use stamps with all of this. Um, and um, then obviously the second most important thing after the photos is the journaling. You need to make sure you write down What's going on? Who who it is? Who's it's with? Uh, and that's another bugbear I have is that we're very good at taking photos of other people. When it comes to this kind of thing, oh look at see, can you see I've put that silver element over the top there? I think it adds to that. It looks lovely. Um, 
when your children or your grandchildren or your great grandchildren are looking back, they're not going to care what your hair's doing, how fat you look, whether you've got double chin or triple chin, whether you've got no makeup on or you've got loads of makeup on. Uh, they don't really care about that, about what you look like. They just want to know who it was. Who is that in that picture? Right, so that's stuck down. Right. So, this top one here, I need to stamp. Okay. So I'm going to stamp this. All right. I've got this set. This is Make a Difference set. So this is an alphabet set. And this is going to drive me crazy. Um, it's going to drive you crazy. Uh, I'm going to do an old olive. But at least the cards have got lines in it. So I can try and line it up. This was takes time really, is journaling and the writing and the stamping. I don't do a lot of stamping for that reason. So it takes time and I haven't got the patience. That's a year. There's my hair. There's my hair. It's a lovely stamp set. But I hate alphabet stamp sets, fill stop. Because I think they're fussy. <laughs> but they do what they say they do. They're an alphabet stamp set. They allow you to um, stamp what you like, where you like. This one is particularly difficult because it's in this, um, uh, I don't know what you call it. Which one do we think it's, oh. Take some thinking. I'm gonna go with that being an R. Oh, that is an R. I just gotta get the right way. See, I told you it was an R. Just gonna look at it carefully. I might scoot forward on this bit. I don't think you want to see me trying to figure out letters and stamp all morning. Take some time and some thinking. I don't do thinking well. Go quiet now when I think. You have to excuse me. Kind of getting it straight. Oh, nearly done. 
painful, isn't it? Christmas. Two thousand seventeen, not eighteen. Sorry about that, that was probably a bit painful, wasn't it, to watch? It felt painful to do. But yes, I would recommend getting an alphabet set. They are useful. I know, I made it look painful. Oh, let's have some of these. Family. There we go. Right. Um, so this is on the reverse. So I know on the reverse I've got them visiting Father Christmas. And I will put the dating up there. So leave that line blank. I need to go through my calendar and work, remember when they went. So this is um, my, mid, my middle and youngest child. And then, that was way back in um, November, that was Izzy making a, a Christmas cake. No, Christmas pudding. And that was our family recipe. From my mum. There we go. And again, another important thing, don't worry about your handwriting, please. Please, please, please don't worry about your handwriting. Again, the important thing is to get the information down. We want to know what was going on, because we're nosy. Put that in. Okay, so I think we need some snowflakes. I love that you get all these stickers. Um, Everything that Stampin' Up! do is acid and lignum free. Although if you are using the original old photographs, I wouldn't put stickers on them. Um, and I possibly wouldn't even glue them down. I mean, the, the I'm going to put Joyful on this one, even though my husband looks like death warmed up there. Um, I think he was trying to corral all the children while I was standing there happily taking photos. So I think Joyful was... Um, a little bit of an exaggeration on his part. I could put, I won't put peace, joyful or peace in this one, they're playing laser tag. Nice peaceful, oh, is this one? A nice little border strip, and that will go across like that. And just adding these little bits just adds a little bit of a handmade touch to everything. And you get quite a bit in each pack, to be quite honest, so. Um, you know, just knock yourself out and use it all up, really. So it's going to show. I don't know if it will show on this, so I'll use a little one. No, I don't think that's going to show, so I'll leave that. Christmas cheer. There we go. I don't glue these um, overlays down on the um, actual um, cardstock because. Um, um, They'll stay in there, I and mean, if you want to, you can do, but I don't. So, Christmas tag. Christmas laser tag. That was the present we got. This was our family present. So we like to buy um, a game 
or one large family present that we can all enjoy. And they certainly did enjoy shooting each other. And that was Christmas shopping, which is probably why he looks so miserable. Trying to corral the children into buying presents for each other. I don't want to buy her anything. She's not nice. I'll tell you what, why don't I buy her this thing, which I really want, and then um, when she doesn't really want it because it's not her thing, I'll use it instead. No. Not quite the idea. Holly Jolly Hockey Sticks. So I'm going to put tradition on this one because this is, I don't know, it doesn't make a tradition, but it's the second or third time that they have been. My oldest one didn't want to go, but then decided that she did want to go when she realised what they were doing and she'd get a present properly. And this was the first time that we went to the pantomime. It was Beauty and the Beast. It was not the first time I've been to the pantomime. It was the first time that my youngest has been. Um, she's only three. Put that one a bit far up. So I need to put that down that we went to the pantomime. I love pantomimes. I'm not saying that I like. Right. So Izzy's first pantomime. And as you can see, my handwriting is terrible as well, but I like the handwriting ones. So we went to see Beauty and the Beast at South Hill Park, which is near us. It's a local theatre. Local people are in it, and it's jolly good fun. Jolly hockey sticks. And we actually went there, I think, on Christmas Eve. Yeah, what is this doing? <clears throat> so you can really take your time and decorate these things up. Right. Give us some colourful leaves. Oh yeah, why not? Coming out of her head. Should have put tradition on that one, shouldn't I? So that's our, our family recipe. Thing is, nobody in our house like Christmas pudding. I don't like Christmas pudding. That was the doorbell. Thank you. I'll resume this in a minute. So, um, what was I going to say? Right. So I think I'll leave that page for the time being. I've put down everything that we are doing on that one. And I'll get the other page. So first of all, uh, Christmas decorations. To be honest, they didn't last a few days before Izzy ripped them to shreds, but they were made by... Sophie and Izzy. I've got a little stamp in here, it'd be quite sweet. Um, homemade by just about there we go yes so Christmas decorations gingerbread men and make your own fossils don't ask don't ask where that came from right and let me just write down here this is my daft cat uh, sitting on the wrapping paper Tammy right 
So I love using these stickers up because I think they just add just a little souchon, just a little something that really sets everything off. Right, so that's that. Oh, that definitely needs a family. So I'll put that underneath. I don't, because I don't glue those down. So it always means you can reuse them if you want to. And that's another one of the overlays there, actually. Right. So this is the 31st of December, because this is Jessica's fifth birthday, and below is Imogen, one on the 16th of December. This is Jessica's party. They are going to have great fun when they are teenagers and they can go out on the 31st of December and celebrate Jessica's birthday. That is going to be one trouble. So I'm going to leave it for that. I like that one there. Look, home for the holidays. I'm going to leave it like that. I might do some extra bits and pieces, but I just wanted to show you, you know, how easy these stickers make it to do a, a Memories and More um, page or two and how you've got the different... Um, you know, give you the different colour tones in there. Um, and it just makes it really easy to get these things down because they are important to keep. You know, my children are only young ones and it's nice to be able to do this. So thank you very much. My name is Fiona Stanton from Fees Papercraft.